Hi, this is Eric from Ion Software, and in this advanced tutorial I'm going to show you how to build a plasma ball like this, which of course is all created in 3D, so that's all animatable, can be moved around, placed in your scene, etc. etc. Once again, this question was triggered by a request on the Pixfly forum, so thanks for that, guys. And let's start this over and start right away. To start with, we add a fast noise tool. And I want to set the resolution to something well, rather small, like, say, 512 by 512 pixels. The color should be a gradient, actually a radial gradient in this case. So let's bring that one in the center. Exchange these two colors here. Black shouldn't have any alpha. And instead of white, I want to go for something bluish. Then in the noise tab, I want to set it to discontinuous. Bring the detail up to something, say, around 7. And the scale maybe to what, something like 5. Then add an ellipse mask. But I don't want to add the ellipse mask to the actual mask input, but rather to the noise detail map. And since I want to have all the detail on the outside of the mask, I invert it, like so. Add a bit of soft edge, and maybe scale it a bit like that. Well, maybe back to my colors again. Actually, this could be a little bit darker. Maybe like so. So the next tool I want to add is a displace. And the displays, again, should be driven by a background tool. So rather than adding a new background tool and, you know, setting my image size, I want it to be the same. I just copy and paste my fast noise and replace it with the background tool. So the background tool actually takes over the image setting I had before. Put it to white, add it to the displays, and to the background itself, add another elliptical mask. And in my displays, I you know, bring up the refraction strength. And once again, I want the mask to operate on the outside, so I invert it, add a bit of soft edge, like so. So you see, I now have lots of displacement going on on the outside, but not so much on the inside. Maybe actually bring the refraction strength up a bit. Just adjust the thing to your liking. To emphasize the streaks a bit, I actually go back to my fast noise and ramp up the contrast towards something like 3. So there we go, towards something I'm looking for. Maybe bring this up a bit. Well, that looks reasonable. Right, then we add a coordinate space tool. Set it to polar to rectangular, and right between the displays and the coordinate space, we add a transform. So if I now animate the center of this transform tool, and say for 100 frames, we move this up a bit, and of course set it to wrap. We already have an animation like this which somehow starts to look plasma-ish. I then want to make sure that nothing of the uh, colors actually touches the outside of my frame. So just add a brightness contrast, add a mask to the brightness contrast as well, set both width and height to 1, set the brightness contrast to reduce the gain on red, green, blue and alpha, and obviously, once again, I have to invert my mask. Make it a tad bit smaller and add some soft edge to it. Something like that. Right, so this goes onto an image plane. Which takes it into our 3D space. And after the image plane, I add a 3D duplicate. Say I want to go with like eight copies here, and instead of playing around with the uh, X and Y offset, I go to the Jitter tab and set my X, Y and Z rotation, each of them, to a value of like 180 degrees, and also play around 
with the scale maybe something 0.5 ish looks good so this still looks a little bit blunt so back to my image plane and change my blend mode my OpenGL blend mode to accumulate and there you see we start to have something that looks a bit plasma ballish maybe I want to randomize my duplicate 3d a couple of times and see which looks best maybe this one and also right click and set my transparency to full sort let's add a camera to the scene and 3d render and the render 3d should be set to OpenGL and actually I want this to be 32-bit floating point right although this already starts to look a little bit like a plasma ball you see some issues like for example where the transform duplicates or wraps the original texture we get seams like that let's take care for that view our renderer here on the right side and right in front of the transform that actually animates the motion here I insert another transform let's clean up the space a bit and I set this transform to flip vertically and add a rectangular mask to it move it just down here y value of 0 bring the height up to 1 and add a little bit of soft edge so now my actual transform that moves the pattern has sort of a repetitive mirrored look then in the coordinate transform you see that we also have a little seam here where the texture is wrapped so again let's add a transform tool after that in this case set it to flip horizontally add another rectangular mask bring it over here set the width to 1 and again a tiny little bit of soft edge so now we actually get this repetitive look and our plasma ball over here starts to look a good deal better one final thing that actually makes up a plasma ball is that it always has a glowing center so let's add a shape 3d actually let's watch the merge here pipe that in the shape 3d should be a sphere with well so maybe that's a little bit much with a radius of about 0.04 in this case and I want this to have an object ID of 4 so back to my renderer and what I add now is a glow tool and to the glow tool I add a bitmap mask pipe that out of the render 3d and in the render 3d also check object ID in the output channel sections then I tell my bitmap to actually use the alpha channel of an object in this case object with the ID of 4 and pipe that into the pre-mask of my glow tool which means that now the glow tool only uses that inner sphere to create the glow let's ramp this up a good deal now you see that this actually allows me to create that inner glow of the plasma ball and that's basically it of course there are many ways to create something like that in fusion and you can also add particle systems etc but that would be part of another tutorial so stay tuned and see you next time cheers